Hi, I want to talk about self-empathy today and um, this is something that is very personal to me because I struggle with this all of my life as somebody who survived childhood trauma, CPTSD, depression, and probably a whole lot of other terms and names if I allowed the medical community to give me labels. Self-empathy has always been very hard for me. Even though I've gone through a lot of therapy and a lot of work on myself and a lot of shadow work and a lot of spiritual growth and emotional growth, um, self-empathy is something that I still struggle with because I'm 49 and it's extremely difficult um, to reprogram your mind without consciously doing it from 49 years of negative self-talk and you know circumstances that other people caused me throughout my life that I held on to certain people's other beliefs about me people that were influential like a narcissistic parent or you know um, I know that I recreated a lot of that same relationship with men in my life because even though it was messed up, it was comfortable because that's what I knew. And now, I mean, my, my head and my heart are telling me, hey, this isn't right. Let's set some boundaries because this person it does isn't treating you right. But before, before I had those boundaries and that emotional intelligence, I couldn't distinguish that. So it is hard to have some self-empathy because when you're having a struggle or a bad day, that's your default. And you have to be like, wait a minute, this is not okay. Yes, that's my default. That's the default I always go back to. But self-empathy is like, I'm very empathetic towards other people. And I realized along the way that I didn't have, I didn't say the same things to myself as I said to other people. And I, once I realized that, I was like, well, wait a minute, I'm a person too. Why is my inner voice so mean and nasty to me? Because I wouldn't say that to somebody I was trying to support and I need to learn to support me. So if you struggle with self-empathy, ask yourself that question. Ask yourself, why are you treating you like you're not a person. Why are you treating yourself harder than you would treat somebody else going through the same struggle? Because you deserve that love too. And if you can't love yourself like that, how is anybody else going to? And how are you going to love somebody in the way that they deserve if you're still fighting your shadows? And that's why we need shadow work. I love you. I hope you get it.